So you guys know me, I usually hate moving stuff around, but I actually wanted to count how many boxes of Nightfall, Nightfall being the one that was sold for $820 for a single box and $8,200 if you wanted to buy five of these boxes. Now there were other stuff to be fair to Alpha Investment. There were other stuff in the boxes, but uh, yeah, uh, the videos, and I couldn't find a video about it because there's a video of, there, there are a lot of MetaZoo videos, um, even on when a new set happens, he does a lot of box openings, he does a lot of promotion, he said Native would hit over, it was at $100 and doing really well in the down market. So outside of my videos, which people criticize because I made so many of them, now I'm very glad that I did make so many of them because his videos have been deleted. There is no Mike Waddell interview anymore. That has been taken down. There is no Nightfall production assembly. I'm assuming he had that type of video for all MetaZoo sets. And there were at least eight sets that I know of where he had promo various promo cards. If you go on his channel right now and you search MetaZoo, you're going to just see a few MetaZoo videos and they paint him in a very positive light as somebody who has lost a lot of money in MetaZoo and obviously he wasn't pumping it. He never said it was not investable, right? He never told you to invest in it and so on. And I can actually prove to you that these videos have been deleted because you can go, I can actually figure out the exact date they've been deleted because you can go on socialblade.com, type in his channel, and you're going to see two periods where certainly videos have been made private. So uh, including the Reddit thread, you can go on the Reddit thread, you can click on it. It is a picture of a pyramid of nightfall that Rudy has. And the video has been made privated. I also obviously cannot find the Mike Wardell interview anymore. That is gone. Um, and as Rudy kind of portrays himself as this great investor, it, it's kind of interesting, right? You say invest in FTX and just like Graham Stefan, all your videos are gone. Um, well, I mean, to new subscribers, they, I mean, the whole MetaZoo thing has been gone. I mean, he's erased MetaZoo for the most part, unless it's about him losing money in MetaZoo uh, from his channel. There's no more native. In fact, I can even give you one example right now. He made various videos about the native product and the only uh, record of him having made the videos is on my channel. It's since been deleted. Uh, Nate, so these are the, vi the names of those videos. MetaZoo Native is going to shock the market. This video was 26 minutes and 20 seconds. MetaZoo Native single prices are insane. This was five months ago and has 25 minutes 11 and he's looking at TCG play. And my favorite video, unbelievable all caps, four dots, Native holds $100 in a bear market. So... If you are an investment guru and you, let's say we pick 20 uh, stocks to invest in, some of them are going to do well, some of them are not going to do well, but we delete the ones that don't do well, like Native, for instance, this is a stock, right? This is unbelievable. Uh, and th these are pictures from my old videos. This is picture screenshot. You can see the little, num these videos no longer exist. MetaZoo Native is a home run, run success. And where did the videos go out for investment? They were privated. Um, they got nuked. Uh, why did they get nuked? So typically, like you can see the little two total videos views weekly. And you can see the two little dots down. That's when you private your video. So he must have probably did a MetaZoo search and then deleted the video. There's no more Nightfall videos. There's no more native videos. There's no more Cryptid Nation. There's no more Mike Wardell video. You can go check today. Now, I would encourage him to republish the videos because it's not. It's kind of interesting from a psychology experiment, what the hell was Mike saying at the time to get so many people pumped up about this set. And obviously, we know Alpha Investment has a grading company, and they're grading sorcery now. 
And he's got his own promo there. Uh, this time he's smart enough not to be of himself. I found that very weird that he just had so many promos. I mean, like, dude, Mike Waddell doesn't have that many promos of himself. And he's, he's, he's as narcissistic as they come, right? Uh, and you got so many play mats. You go on eBay, man. Half the stuff is Rudy stuff. I mean, it, it's just, it's, uh, it is what it is, right? So he gets another MetaZoo card, another MetaZoo card. The pressing video has been deleted because Flesh and Blood asked them to do that. I've, um, what's that relationship like now? Um, I think it is definitely quite interesting to see him deleting those videos because it does, to me at least, suggest that he understands it's a bad look. And this is what these gurus do. These self-help gurus, these uh, individuals who, you know, again, I, I can play this way. You pick 100 stocks, 50 of them do, let's, let's say 25 do well, 25 do poorly, and 50 of them just kind of stagnate. Well, you delete the 25 that do poorly. Now you seem like an amazing stock developer, right? If, if MetaZoo, which was a huge, huge product at Alpha Investment, I mean, again, you go on you go on eBay right now. It's like half the shit is his stuff, you know. You, and there's no question it's his stuff because his face is on it. So you don't need to know where it came from. Um, man, you know, and people call MetaZoo out, and uh, MetaZoo content creators are calling me out. My dudes, like, like you know, what what is wrong with you guys? I mean, you guys steal people's content, right, including mine. Uh, which I didn't give you the permission to play my videos. You um, steal, if you go in a short, you steal Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle content. You steal like other people, uh, Pokey Rives content. You steal other people's content because you know your MetaZoo content can't stand up by itself, right? Like, I think um, it's, it's quite interesting that the MetaZoo community is still so positive on this guy when he left them with heavy bags. And now he's deleting any any involvement with MetaZoo. So he is no longer, you know, not only did he tell you it was not investable, uh, he also told, now Now he also was never a part of it. I mean, God bless, because the, the one mistake he made, right, and he could have got out totally Scott clean, and I wouldn't have criticized him as much as I did, but I knew he would delete his video, so I wanted a record, because I he, remem he re resembles like another guy I covered my other legal channel, L-U-S, uh, Anthony Farrar, and that's what Anthony would do. He would make these crazy statements and raffles for Rolexes, and then suddenly when it came time for, like, to announce the winner of the consignment raffle, he would be like, oh, well, you know, who cares? And, <laughs> and he would delete a lot of his videos. In fact, his whole channel is deleted now because he's just sitting in jail. A Anthony Farrar, not, not uh, Alpha Investments, right? Anyway, are you guys surprised he's starting deleting? Because uh, I hope people got it saved, man.